Welcome back at 7.54. You can check out a cheetah at full speed at the Dallas Zoo. Always good to see Sean Green. He joins us live from the zoo to give us a look at the cheetah run. Good morning to you, Sean. I'm guessing you should never bet against a cheetah. Am I right? <laughs> Hi, Lauren. How are you? Yeah, they are the fastest land mammals in the world. You know, this cat here, uh, its species can get up to 70 miles an hour. That happens in about four or five steps. And this new cheetah encounter out here is something that we have for our guests to come out and see these guys five days a week, including today at 11 a.m. You can see Winspear. What a beautiful animal. Oh, Winspear is talking to us. Good morning, Winspear. Yes, good, good to see you. <laughs> so the cheetah races. Can you hear him? Yeah, we can. So the cheetah races and then other animals race as well to kind of give a comparison as to how fast he was going. Yeah, speed is so important for predators and really all animals to avoid predators. So you can see a guinea fowl out here. You might see a, a hornbill. You can see Amani, of course. This is the companion of Winspear here. This is our uh, one-year Labrador retriever. He's 75 pounds. Winspear is 105 pounds. Winspear is an endangered species, and this is one of the great things we do here at the zoo is talk about endangered species and how people can help. Yeah, we've been following Winspear since his birth, and once you guys paired him with this with the lab there, how are the, how do they get along? We, we were a little worried once once Winspear got a little bit bigger that he might put the black lab in his place. How's that going? Well, I can I, I can tell you after a year, Lauren. Uh, guess who's the alpha male? Right here. Really? It's it's Amani. <laughs> he's actually 30 pounds lighter, and he's the one that runs the show. It's almost like a. a a sheepdog almost. He herds Winspear around, but they have a fantastic relationship. We have this going on at 11 o'clock Monday and Tuesdays, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Okay. You can see the cheetah run, the dog run, see them interact and get up close. Yeah, this really is a great time to head to the zoo. The weather makes it, you know, now that's getting a little bit cooler, makes it nicer for visitors. And I'm assuming the animals like, like the cooler temps as well, right? Oh, they love it. Yeah, the, the staff loves it too. But yeah, the animals are so much more active. When we had the uh, the summertime run with him, it was very short. We could only do a few minutes at a time. It was very warm, even at 11 o'clock. And right now, we got some real good activity. This program's about 20 minutes. So when people come out, they can spend 20 minutes, see these animals, talk to the uh, the great staff. And then, of course, we've got some other exciting events coming up in October with Halloween nights on October 23rd through the 26th. So lots of fun things and a great time to come out to the zoo for sure. I think Amani's giving you some kisses, huh? <laughs> I think they're both. I'm, just, I'm slime. <laughs> I think they're both ready for some breakfast. All right, thank you so much, Sean. So we do want to let everyone know that these these cheetah races happen a couple times a day. The exception is basically every day except Wednesday and Thursday. So definitely something you want to check out. We what, have. What, what, oh, say that again. Yeah, I was just going to say, Monday and Tuesday, only one show, so it'll okay. be at 11 o'clock. So if you come out today, it'll be at 11 o'clock and Tuesday as well. Okay, great. We have all the information in case you want to check it out on our website, myfoxdfw.com. Thanks for getting everyone up early, Sean.